Let's run on down to Walmart and it's time to grab your favorite inexpensive bucket. We got to get those handles off. We don't need those. Take them off both sides. They clip right off. Next, we're going to take that bucket and flip it over. We need to set in two strips of wood that are going to fit right on the edge. Just go ahead and set it down there. No need for a tape measure and just mark it with a pencil. What you're going to need is definitely two of these. Just use your favorite saw. It's easy to do. Next, stick them on there. Make sure they fit just right inside the grooves. Then you can use some hot glue. Just three good dabs on the edge will do it. Just flip it over and press it against the plastic. Now I know what you're thinking. This glue does not hold permanently. That's okay. We just need it to hold until we can flip it back over. So do that to both pieces right on the edge and just hold it down till it sets. It takes about 20 seconds. Next, flip the bucket over and what you're gonna do is grab just some small little screws. They don't need to be long. We don't want them to pop out through the end of the wood. So just take your drill and put it right in. Two or three in each strip of wood will be just right. Just put it in there, don't over tighten, and that's gonna hold it in place. Now it's time to put on the wheels. I got these little inexpensive caster wheels, but I need the drill bit to be just the right size, and we're gonna mark it one inch from each side of the wood. We're gonna put four of these legs on. So once you get them marked, it's going ahead and we're gonna drill it. You can just drill all the way through the plastic. It's not gonna be a problem because when we set the leg in, it's gonna block the hole. So these little wheels are perfect. Now it's time to take that hot glue, put it right on the edge of the hole there and put the leg on. It's gonna hold it just great. Now, if you don't wanna use hot glue and you want a little different glue, go ahead, it'll work also. Just let it set up. I like using hot glue because it's fast. Once we get the legs in, look at this. They are excellent, exactly what we need. Now it's time to go ahead and decorate the bucket. I grabbed this twine over at Dollar Tree. Just take again our favorite hot glue, put it right on the edge. This is our starter piece. Just stick it right on there. You wanna make sure this first row is perfect. I use the edge of this bucket right on this line and that's going to be what I call my datum line. Just go ahead and set it all the way around and we're going to go around the whole bucket. Once you get that on, it's time to take a little bit of your inexpensive fabric, cut about 12 inches wide. We're going to use that hot glue again and we're going to fold over the edge. That's going to give us a nice edge to finish this off. What I did was I just worked my way down with that hot glue and kept folding it over. Be careful because it can get a little hot. Once we get both edges nice and done, what we're gonna do is fold it over the bucket. It's gonna cover all that plastic. Get that glue right on that last bit of rope right there. Spread it over and just mark it down right there. We're gonna take this all the way around the bucket and look at this. This is gonna be a great container. We can store books, dog toys, or even toys for the grandkids. It turned out great. I hoped you loved this DIY rolling basket. Thanks for watching Home Talk and we'll see you next time. I'm going to give these plastic drawers a complete makeover. I have here a sheet of white tissue paper that I got in a pack and it seems that one side of this tissue paper anyway is shiny and the other side is matte. So I've got the flat side facing up and I'm going to use these amazing color sparks by Ken Oliver. The first thing I'm going to do is just scrunch the paper a little like this. Shake it up a little bit just to make sure it's all mixed up because it's not just one pigment in here, there are lots. There are many different colors all added in together. And then I'm going to shake it over my paper. And then just a little bit of the cerulean blue. You can add any colors together. Um, the fun of this is seeing which colors you like and which work together. So that's enough on there now. Now I'm going to take my spray, which has water in it, and I'm going to soak the whole sheet. And as you can see, the colors start to blend together. Now, obviously it's on a black garbage sack, so you're not gonna be able to see the colors very clearly, but believe me, you will when this is dry. Okay, I'm happy now with how my paper looks.
So now I'm actually going to speed up the drying process with my hair dryer, and this is where the magic happens. And just look how amazing this looks. It looks like stained glass. All the colours have merged together and even some areas of white that didn't get any of the powder pigment have remained and that looks great. Now if you're not happy with this, if you feel that it's a little bit dark, what you can do is using the water bottle again, spray on it and then dry that. <laughs> And it makes a really interesting little speckledy effect there. Here is one of the drawers. And from my large sheet of tissue paper, I have cut a piece that will fit right across the front of the drawer and will go around the handle too. When we look at the paper now, one side is much more vibrant than the other. It's the side that the pigment went on to. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to deal with the back side of the paper first. And I have here some press and seal. And I'm going to tear off a piece and stick this on the whole piece. So next we're going to use some clear contact paper. It's transparent contact paper, or you can use clear shelf liner, which is what I'm using. And I'm going to press that down. The, the easiest way to do this is to just expose a little bit of the shelf liner or the contact paper, and then pressing it down as you go, pull the backing paper away. This, I have found, is the easiest way to do this kind of thing. So to stick it onto the drawer front, I am going to use Elmer's Clear Glue. As always, you can use whatever glue you have. So I have put some glue on the front of this and I've spread it around with an old brush and I also went around the handles as well. So now I'm going to place my piece of tissue on the top and make sure it goes right around and sticks around the handles. Now, most of these drawers have a little dip in the middle. So what I'm using is the old store card and I'm going to smooth it down like this. And then when that has dried off a little bit, I will take um, a craft knife and I will trim off this excess here. And here is my finished drawer. How amazing does that look? And here is the whole piece. I did a different color for each drawer. And just look how incredible these turn out with just a couple of colors used on each one. I have to warn you, it is addictive. And here's the top as well. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I have inspired you to have a go. You're watching Home Talk. I'm Julie McDowell. I'll see you next time. <laughs>